Okay, I am going to show you how to make your free ringtones on an iPhone. And the thing is, is it has to be a song that you have in your iTunes library to start with. So, we'll go down here and open up our iTunes. And open that up and here we go we will go in and the first thing is is you don't want it to be full screen and then you want to go open up the folder for where you are going to have this ringtone saved on your computer always and so we'll make a new folder and we'll name it uh, ringtones and iPhone ringtones and save its name and go into it so now we can go back to iTunes and we will find the song we want and you can pick anything you want but we'll find the song that we want to make this ringtone out of and here's the big thing is you want to right click on it and go into get info and we need to go in and tell it to where to start and stop the song at. So we need to go into options and we will tell it where to start and where to stop. Now, I've already listened to this song to know where where I want my start point and my stop point to be. So, we'll go in and punch that in. And remember, 40 seconds maximum. You don't have to use all 40 seconds, but 40 seconds maximum. And we'll go in here and play it. Yeah, that sounds right. That's where I want, and then right click on it and go down to create AAC version. And as it's making this version. Oh, looks like I made it a few seconds too long. So, I will need to go in and delete this. And I need to trim a few seconds off. Because, as I said, 40 seconds tops. trim some down and again right click on create AAC version and it will convert go through and it'll make a little ding sound at you when it's done and it's under 40 seconds so we're good to go and you drag that out of iTunes into your folder where you're going to store it all the time and you can go back into iTunes and actually delete that because if not it's just going to fill your library up with junk so you can get rid of that And don't forget to go back into the original song and uncheck the start and stop points. So it'll play your right time. Now you have your file. And we can... You need First you need to go into Tools and Folder Options. Go down to 
views and go down to this hide extensions for known file types and you need to make sure that's unchecked so that you can complete the next step here and go in and rename the file now you don't really want to rename the file just the file extension so go down to where it says M4A and change that to M4R and it'll say are you sure tell it yes there you go and drag it back up to your iTunes and let go and then you can go check in your ringtones folder and you look down and there it is right there so after you've done that then you can go down to your device and go in and make sure that everything is checked to sync ringtones and you can either pick sync all or sync just certain ones and you need to sync your sync with your phone and when it gets done syncing then you can go back and see which ones you have and it'll go through and tell you of course that it is putting the file on your phone as it just showed there you go it's syncing to do to do to do and it gets all done then you should be able to go into settings and scroll down to sounds and ringtone and go to up to your custom ringtones and look through everything you've got and there we have it right there so you pick that and it will say it'll play it for a little bit make sure that's what you want and you're all done you can go through and uh, assign it to a certain contact or any ring or anything you want so